you so much. I'm back. Um, so this is my first video back after a little break. Thank you guys for continuing to hang out with me. So I have a good one for you today. We are going to the Tiffany store. We're going to try out the Tiffany Lock collection. That's new collection. Um, I want to compare it to the Tiffany Knot. I want to see the one with diamonds, the one without. So you know how we do. We're going to get into it. But thank you so much and welcome back to my channel. I have a great series of videos coming up. Alright friends, we are headed to the Tiffany store. I just threw on a blazer over my scarf top just to, um, it's a little bit nippy. It's already a little nippy and you know, just to elevate the look just a little. So we're gonna stop at Tiffany first. I will try on all the variations of the lock bracelet and then we'll see what we think about it. And then right after that, we're going to get the Cartier Love Bracelet and the Roberta Coin Love in Verona Bracelet serviced. So that's what we're doing today. So I completed my outfit with my Jimmy Choo Bing Flex and I am carrying my Chanel bag today. I haven't took it out in a while. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So let's go have some fun. The ones that require the screws. Yeah. Those guys. They require two. Oh, it's three sixty diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is on the list. I've been dying for a piece that goes all the way. This is very well designed. You know what? It looks very much. It looks a lot better than it did online. I was worried that the lock was gonna kind of sit out and not give you a complete hug of the wrist, but it actually sits. I like it. super cool experience i'm glad we got to do exactly what we wanted to do which is to check out the tiffany lock collection and see all of those beautiful lock bracelets that they have so let's talk about it which ones were your favorites so i got to try on the white gold the rose gold the yellow gold with diamonds without diamonds 
and you probably know but this collection was designed so that anyone can wear it both men and women and um i think it's really good i was a little concerned when i saw it online that the shape of the lock because it's more oval rather than round that it would stick out a little bit but it actually hugs the wrist really nicely um i was wearing them in size medium so that is a size that fits my wrist i have a 16 centimeter wrist i feel like it's very comfortable it's easy to put on and to take off yourself while we're on that topic you probably noticed that the lock collection is tiffany's take on the love bracelet so you know think lock think love locked on <laughs> think not bracelet so yeah that's where they're going with that but it's cool i really like what they're doing with the new collections but let's talk about prices so the full pave lock bracelet is thirty two thousand dollars i think i'm pretty i'll put it on the screen but i think it's 32 it has 4.99 carats of diamonds so almost five carats and it's 32,000 compared to Cartier's full pave love bracelet that is 44,500. Some of them are 46, 47. So that's a big 12 to $16,000 price difference. And the Cartier love bracelet actually only has two carats of diamonds. So two carats of diamonds, close to 50,000 compared to 32,000 for five carats and as you can see in the video they're brilliant diamonds they're beautiful they're well cut they're like it's sparkling it's not like they're low grade diamonds i mean come on tiffany that's not gonna happen but you know what i mean the diamonds are like really really bold and big and beautiful so for that price point if i were looking for a full pave bracelet i would definitely be getting the lock bracelet over that cartier full pave love bracelet so while we're on the topic the knot bracelet is twenty two thousand right now when i got mine it was 20 but it has 2.05 carats of diamonds compared again to the full pave cartier that only has two carats you know what i mean so you got to check around and see what it is that you prefer ultimately always do what you want what makes you happy i say that all the time but just do also know that you have choices and that's why i do these videos i try them on you see them for yourself you can see how beautiful those bracelets were and yeah if that's what you're into i think the price point is good for what else is available on the market now obviously if roberto coin made a full pave love in verona it would most likely be even less than tiffany's 32,000 um because the half pave which I have Roberta coin I think is probably now it's 18,000 or so but you know what I mean so just different jewelers have different price points and it's up to you to check how many carats am I getting is this 18 karat gold what is the quality of the piece what is the workmanship like how precise is the craftsmanship stuff like that you have to check into but anyways takeaways i love the lock collection i would never stack love bracelets there are I, I wouldn't even stack my roberto coin um bracelets like multiple love in verona bracelets i've never met or <laughs> haven't tried on any type of bracelets from a brand that i would be willing to buy multiple of the same bracelet to stack them however the lock collection i'm very impressed with its stackability not only with other bracelets but with itself those three bracelets looked like they were meant to be together and they just sat so nicely on my wrist they interlocked they looked so good and that collection would break my rule on not buying multiple of the same bracelet those look like they belong in a stack so much so if i were starting my collection today and i didn't already have some of the pieces that i do I would be very interested in getting a stack of the lock collection where I would actually just purchase three of those lock bracelets and wear them together. That would be very, very satisfying for me. I really, really love it for that reason. But anyways, 
um let me know what you think of the other pieces that beautiful opal ring that i was wearing um a couple pieces from the hardware collection as well and as usual we had a wonderful time got a great gift for my husband they always give him something for his birthday so it's a bottle of wine it's amazing and yeah we got to look at the um new collections that are coming out for the christmas blue book um on the screen that's set up in there and yeah i'm glad to be back and doing this again so go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think of the pieces did anything stand out for you what do you think of the tiffany lock collection and go ahead and hit the thumbs up button as well very important um you guys have been doing great at that and i appreciate you so much so let us move on to our next stop we're gonna go into cartier right now and uh, um drop off well i'm gonna let you know what they say so we're gonna go to cartier then we're going to go to neiman marcus with the roberta coin and i'll catch up with you again and we'll review what steps it is i need to take see you hi guys sorry about the poor lighting but it just hit me that i haven't actually shown you what's going on with the bracelets so this is the roberta coin love in verona apart from this so the first problem i caused um, I snagged my clothing on it and um, this little latch piece got bent out of shape and wasn't sitting down nice and tight. But on top of that, I don't know what I did recently and I can no longer like connect this without this extra friction. You see, it's really hard for me to insert it and get it out of the lock. So that needs to be um, worked on as well. And... Uh, Someone was asking me in the comments about bracelets falling off and if the rubber to coin ever comes off and things like that. After my latch bent, yes, it did come off, but it didn't fall off completely. It kind of just was sitting on my wrist kind of loose. But do know that every single bracelet is going to do that at some point because clasps and latches need to be maintained every six months to a year. You should be getting them tightened and serviced, right? And then the only one that's never done anything is my David Yerman cuff because it's just a totally different design. And also it's it fits like this has never become loose or too flexible. It's never got twisted where one of the crowns was not in alignment with the other. Like it's the only bracelet and, you know, different design. It's a slip on slip off. It's not a clasp. So that's the only one. Every single other bracelet I've had to service the clasp at some time or the other. Let me show you the Cartier real quick. Okay, so the Cartier. These are a little bit misaligned as well. So where the two sides meet. Oops, they're not meeting nice and flat and seamlessly like they should. And also, I wasn't getting the screws to really tighten as much as they should. Um, and it was coming loose more frequently than it used to. Usually, I could tighten it once a month. But I was needing to start to do it like once a week. And I figured it's time to do something about that. And it's also a little bit rusty in here. I mean, I was wearing it nonstop for, what was it, two years, I think? Whatever. Whatever. But um, even when I clean it myself, I don't really get this kind of the grime that's in here. It's a little bit more difficult. So I'm hoping to get a full service clean and also get this issue fixed. And I will tell you what they say once I get out. All right, see you. All right, guys, that was quick and easy. Did not even take five minutes. Um, so it will be ready in three weeks. So the representative went ahead and did the alignment, found that it is a little bent and that's why it's not snapping together. And they're going to upgrade my screws to the new screws, which are basically the ones that cannot back out on their own anymore. Um, so when you screw it, it has a clicking mechanism that when you tighten it, you can actually hear it tightening up. So I will be getting that instead. So I'm excited and they're back to normal. So they'll be servicing the bracelet, doing a full cleaning and polishing and all of that. So I'm very excited. It's never been done because COVID, they stopped doing that. So it's gonna be nice and clean and bright and shiny and with the new screws in there and they're gonna align it again. And all of it is no charge. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. So now let's go find out what's gonna happen with my Roberto coin. You'll notice Louis Vuitton is getting a makeover. So they're no longer on this level. They have gone upstairs, appears to be temporarily. 
and then they're gonna come back and there is a new Tiffany that will be opened here in Lenox Mall so we're gonna have two now and also I believe Cartier is going into Phipps Plaza so we're gonna have a second Cartier so basically all these designers want to follow each other and have presents everywhere so yeah I'm excited oh crap Gucci this Gucci was never here we only had Gucci and Phipps here goes a Gucci now Hey guys, look, Van Cleef and Arpels is getting a makeover. So we're gonna come when it's reopened. And this is David Yerman. I just wanna show you the Malachite stuff. So pretty. All right, off we go. Hey friends. So we're done with Neiman Marcus too. So it's going to take four weeks. They are able to fix the clasp. It will also be free of cost to fix my Roberta coin love in Verona. So now it's time to go home because, you know, mom duties, kids getting out of school, all that. So yeah, it's been a productive day. Oh, by the way, let me give you some tea. So when I first went to Neiman Marcus looking for, at the time, a necklace, this is when we made the Ipolita purchase for my um you know my apolita necklaces anyway when i first went in there <laughs> the first lady to encounter me is the current one who is helping me now and she wasn't really nice she was kind of snobby anyway i ended up with zoe who i love dearly she has now i believe they built a beach house and she moved to charleston so anyway now i go in there and this new lady is going to be i guess my new essay and um, she doesn't remember that initial encounter, but I do. <laughs> and she's like looking at my profile and, oh yeah, I would love to work with you. You're so amazing. Oh my God, I will get you whatever you want, this and that. Long story short, when you don't know who people are and it's your first time meeting them, don't be a shitty person because you don't know who anyone is and everyone deserves great treatment. Not because we bought a lot of stuff, that's not what I'm saying, but do not stereotype people and don't wait until someone has been good to you for you to be good to them. So I'm not sure I want her to be my essay, but I don't have anything from in there on my list, even though I do love Van Cleef and Arpels. I might need to buy some stuff in there, but anyway, thought I would share that with you. Hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment on this video. It's been great to be back. I will see you guys in the next one.